What's up guys, this is Ricky from Team Project Attraction here to give you elite dating and lifestyle training advice. Today we're gonna answer the question that guys are obsessed over, do looks matter when attracting women? I say, oh, why does it feel so good, so good to be bad? Getting what I want, boy, why does that make you so mad? So I was doing my morning reading uh, a couple of days ago, right after my morning jog, and uh, I was reading this book, Pff, Influence, The Psycholo Psychology of Persuasion, and it's by Robert Silodini, which I highly re recommend you guys check out. Uh, the first time I read it was uh, for to learn game better, and this time I'm reading it more for marketing reasons, but it goes into what are the uh, triggers that influence people's decisions. And there's one chapter on uh, liking. When you are likable, you are more of an influence on people. So you can see how that can be important if you're learning success with women. And uh, they had the section on physical attraction, how that was a key factor. Um, they talked about how there was a study done with uh, the, federal, the Canadian federal elections and uh, the candidates that were better looking actually got two and a half more times the votes than ones that were least attractive move this camera here. Um, and they also talked about how this was an effect in the legal system too. Uh, people that were up for trial that were facing jail time actually got out of it or got reduced sentences uh, two and a half more times than people that were less attractive. So that's, that's the statistics on it. That's the facts. Um, you know, but let's say you're someone who doesn't think that they're very attractive. Maybe you're a little bit overweight or you're dealing with this issue. What can you do? Is it all lost? Is it, are you just screwed over? Is there no way you can get a pretty girl to like you? Well, not at all, no. There are things you can do. Really, with uh, situations like this, um, your attitude's gonna determine uh, your results. So there's people, things are really shaky. I drink way too much caffeine. <laughs> um, there's people that focus on the negative. I'm like, oh, I'm just, I'm not good looking enough. I'm never gonna get women. And then there's the winners, the winner mentality, which we here on Project Attraction cultivate on a day-to-day -day basis, which we look at the situation and we look at what can we do about it, not, not what we can't do. We don't focus on what we can't control. We focus what's in our control. So things you can do is uh, focus on your strengths. So for an example, um, I know my buddy Chase, uh, we were joking about this one time because he's a little bit shorter than me and he talks about, you know, like I'm about... 6'3", and he was like, man, I'm jealous that, uh, you know, women, um, you know, women find your, your tallness so, such attractive. That's like an easy thing for you to get in with a girl to be attracted with. And I started laughing because I said, dude, you're tall as my, you're, you're jealous of my height. I'm jealous of your deep voice, bro. Because uh, he has this really deep voice. So when he goes into a room, he's just like, you, what's up? And he just captivates attention immediately. Can't even snap. I bet it snaps better than me too. Um, but I just thought it was funny. So you really want to play to your strengths. You don't want to focus on things that you can't control. Uh, I know some of my buddies, uh, height is a big thing for guys. Um, some of my friends are a little bit shorter. They put little um, inserts in their shoes to give them that little extra few inches. Um, also things you can control, let's say uh, like diet, exercise, and grooming. So with diet, right off the bat, if you're eating more greens and vegetables and you look at um, like supplements and um, even just, uh, what is it, um, spices, if you had spices onto food and stuff like that, like pe paprika, basil and whatnot, those are really good for like your skin and just your overall look. So if you have clean skin, that's really good. That's attractive right there. That's something you can instantly change just by your lifestyle habits. You can switch your habits up and you'll start slowly getting better results and looking a lot better and you'll become more radiant and fresh looking just from that. Um, exercise is a big one too. Are you working out? I mean, you can boost your testosterone, you start gaining more muscle mass, drop weight, like there's tons of benefits to it. Also too, uh, that book Influence talked about grooming, how important grooming is. And they said that uh, in job interviews, people that usually had were well-dressed and well-groomed got the position even if they weren't as qualified as other people that were less groomed. So it's something to think about, like, can you uh, style up your clothing a little bit, you know, can you 
wear button-up shirts or sexy v-necks or a little bit tighter clothing or you know can you work on your fashion a bit that will instantly change your your looks I think this uh, this question of do looks matter is really obnoxious and yeah a lot of people could say well you're a good-looking guy blah 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 you know like I have mine too I'm skinny like I don't have a deep voice there's things that I have insecurities about too but my main thing and what's so passionate about learning success with women is developing that core of a man. Uh, you want to develop that masculine quality that just radiates off of you. You know, if you have those masculine qualities, you can get around maybe not looking so good, maybe not being so tall, and that's what women are really looking for. Even if you're a good-looking guy, you can still get rejected. You know, take my advice. You can. Like, uh, if you don't display those masculine qualities along with your looks, she may, she may be initially attracted to you, but if you want to date her, if you want to sleep with her, if anything, and you don't have those masculine tra traits, you act like a little bitch when things come up or she tests you and you're like, oh, I don't like that, and you, uh, you can't take a joke, you can't laugh at yourself, you haven't developed your personality, she's going to get turned off, man. So your original attraction is just going to die. And when I was first learning success with women, this happened to me a lot. You know, girls would be initially attracted to me because of my good looks or my height, but then I go talk to them and they're like, oh, this guy isn't a man, he's a boy. And uh, I had to really cultivate those masculine qualities. So let's recap, you know, focus on what you can control. Can you work on your diet? Can you work on your exercise? Can you work on your grooming, fashion, style? Is like, are you getting the basics done? Are you brushing your teeth, taking a shower every day, combing your hair, you know, making sure your clothes are well fitted and not have holes in them, unless that's your look. So you want to take care of the basics as well. Um, I hope that helps. Make sure to leave your questions down below. And make sure to sign up to our VIP dating newsletter as uh, we get more insider secrets on a day-to-day -day basis. Take care. Peace.